Hello, my name is Russ Tyson. I'm an architect and principal here at Winton Architects in Portland, Maine. In this video, I hope to share with you ways our team is using uh, Morfolio Trace, and hopefully along the way, you'll pick up a few tips. One way we are enjoying uh, using Morfolio Trace is in our ability to collaborate with a landscape architect. On this particular project, uh, we've both been working in Morfolio Trace and we're emailing trace files back and forth with, e with each other. I'm going to quickly show you how we're doing that. So if you want to bring a trace file into Morfolio Trace's file system, if you hit the plus sign here, uh, you can say import. If you hit import, you can go to your files on your iPad and pull up that trace file that might have been emailed to you and saved to your iPad. Once it comes in, it'll show up as a file just like this. So if I want to take his drawing and bring it into our drawing, if I uh, tap on the three dots here and I say copy, it will copy that layer and put it up here and then if I go back to the drawing that I want to bring it in as long as this drawing is to scale and our drawing is to scale when I bring that in they're both at the same scale this is shifted over a little and if I just move it over and line them up you can see that uh, you know our drawings start to mesh with each other And that's our nearly completed drawing. Another way we're using Morfolio Trace in the office is redlining drawings in collaboration with us, you know, team members in the office. Morfolio Trace allows you to bring in a multi-page PDF. If I again tap on this plus sign here um, and use this multi-page PDF button and, you know, select a drawing here, it will come in uh, just like this drawing did here. And you'll notice that this is a multi-page PDF of eight pages. Earlier in the day, I had a collaboration meeting with a team member talking about this section that uh, they were working on. We discussed increasing the pitch on the roof. The client wanted more room up here for a loft and we're providing a stair up to that loft. Now the team member can take and draft in the CAD software. You can see we've also added some notes. I'll mention that when you bring a uh, PDF in, one of the first things you want to do is set the scale in the drawing. If I hit this uh, wrench right here and say set scale and use our scale here at the bottom of the drawing and line that up, and say eight feet here, because I know the scale's eight feet long. That sets the scale on the drawing. One other uh, thing I like to do is when I'm redlining, and I found this to be helpful, is Morfolio Trace allows you to create a grid. And if I want to set grid, if I tap on that, and let's say I want to set the grid, you know, each one of those squares, to six inches. If I just type six there, it sets the scale to where each one of those grid boxes is six inches. And I use that to help me uh, keep the drawing neat and orderly. It keeps the line straight. My favorite brush in Morfolio Trace is the pencil. And the pencil just gives you um, a lot of control over uh, what you're doing and I'll represent that here real quick um, if I turn on the ruler tool you'll notice that I can be real light with my lines or if I apply more pressure I can be much darker you can also change the opacity on the pencil and the lines can get even lighter Another way we're using Morfolio Trace is in drawing uh, conceptual 
uh, perspectives to share with clients. And so we wanted to, you know, quickly show them an idea. And what's really nice about Morfolio Trace is this perspective tool here. Using the photograph here, I've set the vanishing points and you can do that by hitting this gear button here and say set vanishing points. And you have the option of setting a one point perspective, a two point perspective, or a three point perspective. And you'll notice I can move these vanishing points up or down or around anywhere on this drawing. But what I've done is set it so that if you look at where the eave is and the bottom of the cottage is, those you know, eave lines and the bottom of cottage lines are running into this vanishing point. Once those are set, I can now using the perspective tool on, it will allow me to very easily sketch on top of this uh, photo. And so that's what we did to create what you see here. And then, so these are the construction lines we use to then create finer lines with technical pen. So I hope this was helpful. I still have a lot to learn with Morfolio Trace um, and I look forward to learning more every day.